Okay. If you would raise your hand. Okay. Simon Swear, our firm tells the whole truth, not that true stuff you got. I do. Give us your name, please. Matt Holmes. What's your position with Smithle Police Department? Uh, Lieutenant Detective. All right. You have uh, charged the business there on, on uh, Congress Boulevard with a violation of the underage consumption law. Would you explain to the board here what transpired and, and, uh, and what date this occurrence happened, please? Uh, basically, we conducted, uh, after numerous complaints of uh, underage sales by local businesses, we conducted a, a similar investigation that we did some time back, which is um, by use of an uh, undercover agent. Uh, we supply them you know, money, mark bills, um, video, audio record uh, their actions, what, uh, what takes place. Um, basically, every uh, store within the city limits of Smithville that uh, sell alcohol, um, we went to this location. The undercover agent went in, attempted to make a purchase of alcohol at uh, every single location within the city limits, um, except for on the way, uh, he was unsuccessful. Uh, he was denied the, the sale, uh, like I said, except for, for on the way. So, um, the date was that we conducted this was August 26. <coughs> and who, who made the sale there on the way? No. Yes. Uh, her name, uh, she was an employee there. Her name is Danielle Owens. Were they cited that night? She was <coughs> later uh, arrested uh, just a short time there after our investigation concluded. Any doubt of the sale being made? Did you, after the sale, did you find the, the marked bills that y'all have given this? Undercover person? Uh, yes, we went in and uh, inspected the cash register uh, and all the marked bills were found in the register. Uh, she was placed under arrest and informed of her rights and she advised that uh, she remembers talking to him, remembered him coming in. She looked at his ID and she said she must have just misread his ID on his date of birth. All right. Did you ask the uh, proprietor, was the proprietor there, the owner of the store? Yes, he was. Was he asked whether or she asked whether or not the, uh, they had been informed of checking IDs and being careful to note the, the, the age requirements? Uh, none of that conversation really happened. All, we, all I did was explain the situation, what had happened, and uh, he uh, was informed that he would be you know, entitled to come to a hearing at a later date. Okay. All right. Anybody on the board have any questions? When you reviewed the tape and the video, did did they did she look at the ID? Uh, we didn't get a video in the store because we didn't go that far as to subpoena subpoena it because we have our own video video on the actual transaction him going in. Um, we just have we didn't we lose sight when he goes in that store we lose sight. All we know is that he has marked bills and no alcohol on his person. He comes out of that building with alcohol and no money. Um, we search the register, money's in there, and we have also the testimony of the undercover agent who's, like I said, he, he he's, uh, works for a surrounding county sheriff's department is who we actually utilize in this capacity. So uh, his testimony of what, what actually happened and, uh, you know, the video that was actually in the store, their surveillance cameras wasn't subpoenaed. And she said she, she looked at it that day. And yeah, and, which, and that, that occurred almost <coughs> every single, we've got it all documented, you know, where we, every place that we stopped. and. Every place I ID'd him, um, except for, uh, and they all denied him the sale and said you're too either you know you're too young to buy beer or you know. Uh, but this place uh, looked at his ID and then given the. Uh, did, did he say that he that she looked at his ID? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long has she been working there? Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. I don't know. Is she still there? Don't know that either. But I think she is. But I'm not sure. Anybody else have any questions? <clears throat> Amy? Amy? I will say we've, they, you know, I think they've done a lot better this time. Last time there was three that went, that ended up and sold, and uh, this time, you know, everybody seems to be a whole lot more careful. I think we're making a little bit of an impact in the, in it. You know, we had a lot of complaints that it was going on. This time is what sparked this in investigation. And, um, I think it's making a difference. Everybody seems to be being a little bit more cautious, except for this one incident. Okay. Anyone else have any questions? Okay.
Okay, as legal counsel for the board, as you know, our general policy here in the city has been on the first violation to suspend uh, uh, on the first offense, and our, our ordinance actually says upon finding that any violation by any permit holder, the punishment for the first offense shall be, not may be, but shall be a minimum suspension of the beer permit for a period of 90 days. And of course, on the second offense, which we're not, we don't have here, it'd be revocation of beer license. Uh, so if the board finds that there was a violation, there'll be an automatic, a retroactive suspension as of tonight for 90 days of this uh, beer holder's permit. And Matt or you or somebody, if, if that finding of the board will have to go and suspend their license, say the beer cases are a lot better. Okay? All right, so I don't know if you can take a vote, see if you got a motion. What do they want?